about camouflaging your equipment and then mainly um, your weapon or uh, in an airsoft environment your, uh, your replica, your airsoft machine. Um, camouflage consists of several aspects uh, and I'll go through them uh, the, the quickly and then uh, take out a couple that we can work with in this situation. Um, traditionally camouflage consists of uh, several aspects being uh, movement, uh, being scent, uh, being shape, color and contrast, shine and texture, um, and shadow and position. And a couple of these, um, you as an individual have way more influence over by the way you dress, the way you move, and the way you position yourself. So I'm going to not go into um, movement, so the way you move through the field. I'm not going into scent, and I'm not going into shadow and position. Um, those are different topics. What I am going to go into is the topics of shape, color and contrast, and shine and texture. And those three um, can have quite an impact on how visible you are in the field. Um, and you can influence your equipment um, to make use of these aspects to improve your camouflage. Uh, looking at uh, weapons, um, one of the most simple forms of camouflage is using a two-tone weapon or a two-tone uh, uh, airsoft machine. Um, for example, if you look at the army, the sometimes have uh, tan colored uh, the stock and hand grips uh, or you can go one step further um, and actually um, have one with already a camouflage pattern on it and this alone already uh, breaks up the shape of the weapon a little bit um, and makes sure it's not one unified color. Now taking that camouflage of the weapon a step further you can also uh, camouflage the entire weapon. Um, you could for example do that by wrapping cloth around it or spray painting the whole of it. And talking about spray painting, I have a slight, a little example here. Uh, for example, here I have two parts of an IMI holster. This is uh, a normal black one as you buy it in the store. Um, and this one I have used uh, a single color to break up um, the form of it um, and also um, uh, to make sure that the straight lines uh, are gone uh, and the color is not as uh, unique as this one. As you can see already, um, both color, shape, form, um, they're quite different by using a single color in just a couple of lines across it. And I can see now even if you uh, put them against uh, uh, the wall behind me, uh, how much a difference it makes in how visible it is. Just uh, un uh, unified black or using one color. Um, and taking it one step further with your equipment, you can use multiple colors, you can use dots, lines, etc. Um, some producers actually make really nice uh, equipment that is, for example, uh, uh, Multicam or Atax. Uh, you can buy those, you can stencil them. Uh, I prefer just using a, a simple spray can uh, to break up the form and the color uh, and in that way uh, improve my camouflage. Now I am going to uh, uh, spray paint uh, an airsoft replica um, and see how that changes uh, the color, the form, the shape, uh, the contrast and the shine. So the first thing I'm going to do is to break up the shape um, by making sure that all the straight edges and the, the, the straight lines are gone and I'm doing it with a uh, tan spray. Um, as you can see I've put on a couple of accessories on it already. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use them but I put them on there anyway. So they, um, I paint them in parallel and I can always remove them later. There you have it, a couple of very simple and straight lines um, to break up the shape um, of the gun. Well, the shape has already been quite broken up and you can actually take it outside already and play with it. But I'm gonna go an extra step and use a bit of brown and green to further work on the camouflage.
here it is, as you can see, uh, relatively simple, only three colors used, uh, but it really did break up uh, the shape, um, the color, uh, contrast, um, and I'm going to play with it.